Hey, so it's the next day. Um, it's Wednesday, and today is the special event. So I have to go help set up for that and miss morning stretch and breakfast. And so, yeah, I gotta go. This is our life in a boy's bathroom <laughs> doing a water balloon. Yeah. And we're standing like five feet away <laughs> from the balloon. <laughs> this place is janky. <laughs> Jinky, Scooby. Jinkies. Hey, Jules. <laughs> Woo! Inception. Bruh. That was him, man. Sure. This is so meta. Oh my gosh, it's a vlog within a vlog or a video within a video, however you want to put it. Ooh. Have you ever heard of About to do the relay, they're about to go over the rules. But the girls, my part um, during the relay, the girls have to come to me and they either say the Pledge of Allegiance or I give them a trivia question. So here we go. Pledge of Allegiance or trivia? Not him, me. Yeah, me. Liberty, justice for all. Go. You forgot a line, actually. No, she forgot. She, did she? Yeah, she did. And for what it stands? What stands? No. I don't know if you know it. To the. Go. Go. Your cabin has to be. Pledge of allegiance or trivia. Pledge of allegiance. All right, go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all! Go! <laughs> it is called Dunkin' Donuts Fear Factor Style. And what's gonna happen here is we need three people from each cabin. Come on, girl. To do the honors of eating a donut. That's literally it. Each donut is filled with something. Oh my God. The Lord himself truly only knows what. Time for the boys relay. I got some riddles here for them. Let's see how they do. Apple cider vinegar. All right, your riddle. There are three apples on a table and you take two away. How many apples do you have? One. Nope. Your riddle. What has one head, one foot, and four legs? Good, go. Go, go back. Black one. No, man. Nope. Uh, four legs. Uh, one head, one foot, and four legs. Table, um, Close. Chair. Close. It's a piece of furniture. It's in your bedroom. A cabinet? No. Nope. Oh, a bed. Yes, go. <laughs> well, Christmas came early. All right, here's your riddle. I travel all over the world, but I always stay in my corner. What am I? Um, um, um. The Northwest South thing. No. I travel all over the world, but I always stay in my corner. When am I? No idea. What do you do when you send someone something? Oh, it's a post sticker. Yeah, stamp, go. They got a kiss there, and he's in a canoe.
So one of the boys' cabins won. Uh, they named the new gnome Will after their MVP. He was just such a trooper. And yeah, now we gotta go eat lunch after that fiasco. Uh, I'm actually kind of queasy to my stomach right now. Um, whenever that girl threw up hot sauce, I had to look away because I, I thought I was about to barf. But time to go eat lunch and then enjoy the nice sunny day, I guess. So after lunch was um, free time and I didn't really do anything. I mostly slept and then dinner was good. We had some nice cake. But um, evening service just ended, and I had the privilege of hearing once again my all-time favorite speaker speak. Um, we call her Miss Ginny. Uh, she was my Sunday school teacher. She um, spoke at kids camp growing up and teen camp, and now I'm back as a leader hearing her speak, and it was just such a privilege. But she went back to the basics, the beginning of the Bible. She spoke about... Um, the creation days and just hearing her speak so passionately about God creating you know everything on earth just it was so refreshing because I don't even remember the last time that I heard the creation story but her just speaking so passionately about this just really showed the power of God, because literally everything around you, God created. Heaven and earth, the plants, the animals, us. He created us in His image, and just, it was just so refreshing and powerful, and the visuals that they had were just amazing. Um, another girl was up there, like, each day that they were talking about, there was a canvas, and she'd either paint on the canvas or she'd put things on the canvas to represent, um, like, for say, she was putting feathers on a canvas to represent the birds that the Lord had created, and she um, she was painting clouds um, on a canvas for when the Lord had created the heavens, and they it, it was just such an amazing visual cuz i'm a visual person and just everything was so so refreshing and just the simplest thing just showed really the power of god and it was just so amazing um i'm going to give some of the scripture that we um got tonight so first john 1 5 through 7 john 8 12 genesis 1 1 through 27 which is um what our whole story was for tonight, which this this verse or verses were the verses we mostly focused on because Genesis 1, 1 through 27 is the whole creation story, basically. Um, Psalms 104, 2, Galatians 6, 8, Psalms 98, 8, Matthew uh, 2, 2, um, Job 12, 7 through 10, and 2 Corinthians 3, 18. Gosh, it was just such an amazing evening, and, like, just so much that was said was just so powerful. Like, one thing that really stuck out to me was, he's the artist that all artists uh, draw from. And that so that's so important to me, because I'm an artist, and I'm going to college for art, and... Just without, without God, I wouldn't have my talent, because God gave... God gave me my talent. That just really stuck out to me because whenever I pick up that utensil and I put it on the paper, or whenever I pick up that paintbrush and I'm painting on the canvas, that that's from God. That's the gift that God has given me. And it just stuck out so much to me. Another thing that was so heavily just put out in the end that these kids, these teens, absolutely needed to hear was that we are called to purity. We live in such a society that is sexual and just impure, and we are made in the image of God. Like, we are, we're not called to be impure, we're called to be pure. And just the things of this world nowadays are just so sexual. And 
we we should be waiting until marriage to have sex. We should not be looking at pornography because those are things that are impure. Pornography is literally nothing but a false representation of a relationship. And these teens just really needed to hear just that just we are called to be pure. They just really needed to hear that sentence. So I just really enjoyed tonight's service. I always love when Miss Jenny speaks. She is she is just such a woman of God and such an amazing role model. And that that woman, she she is fire. She really is. And it was just such a pleasure to hear her speak again. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for tonight. So I'm going to get some rest and moving on to tomorrow. Good morning. So it is Thursday and headed off to breakfast. Yeah. 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 Should announce it like they have to do it and then be like, no, but you don't. But. It's morning service, and I gotta hide the gnome. They named him Peter Will Peter Williams, but I'm calling him PW for short. So there's a wood pile here, and I think I'm gonna stick him somewhere in the wood pile. Um, here's a good spot. Yeah, that's about right. I don't know if you can see him. There he is. All right, time to go to morning service. So our speaker for morning service today really spoke about uh, being a light to our family and friends. And it's really important that whatever we experience here this week at camp, we don't just keep to ourselves. We take it home with us because normally what happens is we have a great week and then we go back into the routine of our daily lives and this week is really supposed to change us to the point where we don't go back into that routine and we don't fall back into our sins and stuff and it's just important that we show the light that God has put within us to our family and friends and something that really stuck out to me that he said during service was um, the truth hurts no it sets us free because um, the truth is the truth there's nothing about it that hurts it's the lie that hurts so I thought that just really stuck out. Some of the verses that he um, talked about were John 1, 4 through 5, Matthew 5, 14, Titus 3, 3 through 5, um, John 16, 8, and uh, Ephesians 4, 15. Um, another thing that he also said that stuck out to me was, our job isn't to convict people. That's the Holy Spirit's job. Because sometimes um, we want to tell people what to do and everything like that, even if we mean it good in the Lord's name. Um, our job is to preach the word and let the Lord, the Holy Spirit, take care of the rest. And so, um, yeah, sir, service this morning was a, a great message um, for the kids to hear. And uh, we had lunch. It was pizza today, which was really good, and um, some good cookies, too. And then we had devotion time, which was really just personal today. So um, now it's activity time. Don't ask how I got on this thing. <laughs> Okay, so evening service, just got out of it. Um, I gotta do this really quickly because we got something really special happening. Um, so some of the things that stuck out to me tonight um, that was said was darkness is the absence of light, but light isn't the absence of darkness, but the presence of the source. And then also everything about us is detailed and purposeful. Um, some of the scripture that was said was Ephesians 1, 18 through 23 and Exodus 27, 20 through 21. And then um, a quote that was said tonight, quote, church can be lit, end quote. <laughs> so it was a really good service tonight. Um, now, time for the party. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> Those aren't your first glasses. I don't believe them. They are. <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited. Yeah. The kids love this thing. I'm not even an idiot, I'm just emceeing a small event. 
Everybody's mute at this point. <laughs> Up, another one down. <laughs> That's how Christians party. So, uh, yeah, I'm super tired, and I'm gonna shower and go to bed. So, it's Friday. It's the last day of camp, and we already have breakfast. And now the kids are going to their devotions. And leaders meeting. Peter! Peter Williams! Whoa! Hey, tell me where you at! Oh, where's Peter Williams? Where's Peter Williams? Where's Peter Williams? Where's Peter Williams? Is that CJ? Do you know where Peter Williams is? Oh, man. The gnome is still out there. So he Someone needs to be found. We can't leave him here. morning service was a bit different today. Um, today was testimony day, which allows the teens to come up and share um, their testimony or what the Lord has done for them um, this week. And just, wow, the Lord has done so much. I'm not going to share too many, but um, suicide was talked about a lot and how people felt convicted to commit suicide. But because of the Lord, they, they found life they found light. I know one kid, um, he had admitted that he was going to commit suicide before coming here to camp. And just this whole week, he's been blessed and he's been changed and he no longer feels that his life is worthless. And I just want to say that anybody out there who is struggling with that, you are loved. God loves you. Um, your life is not worthless. You are here on this earth for a purpose. And just, you are so loved by the Lord. You are so loved. If God found you worthless, you wouldn't be here in the first place. You're here because He loves you. And just know that suicide is nothing but the devil. It's nothing. Um, 
but something from hell, and you are loved. You are extremely loved by the Lord, and if you if you are dealing with something with suicide, please talk to someone about it. Please, your your life is so valuable and so precious that you deserve to live, and you should you should not have to think of such things as, am I worth it? Is my life worth living? Your your life is worth so much more than you even know because the Lord has put you on this earth for a reason. So you are loved. God loves you. And please if you are if you do have thoughts like that, please talk to somebody, seek some help because again, you you are priceless. Your life is priceless. And you are one of a kind. In our generation nowadays, people are always like, oh, I wish I was dead, and everything like that. And even though it's in a joking matter, sometimes it's not. And that's honestly so sad because every, every human life is precious and one of a kind. And you should not have thoughts like that. Again, you are, God loves you. God loves you even when you think that nobody does. He loves you and you're on this earth for a purpose and for a reason. And you're here because God loves you. But anyways, today I actually have double shift for the canteen. Um, so I'll be on a golf cart all day. But um, I know bubble ball is happening. I think slip and slide kickball is happening again. So maybe I'll get some uh, shots of people falling once more. And yeah, I gotta go and do one-on-one -on -one devotions with my girls. So. Yep. Honestly, these <laughs> these girls have been so blessed this entire week. One of my girls um, went up and shared her testimony, and I was just so proud of her. Like, all these girls have grown just at least some, like, this week, and I'm just so proud of them and happy for them, and I know they're definitely going to take away from this. So, yeah, I got to go do devotions. <laughs> Why are you on the roof? <laughs> Let's do a mobile canteen and just start reading, so now we have to do a regular canteen. What's up? Huh? What's up? I'm talking to myself. Because that's what YouTubers do. We're crazy. So nobody found the gnome, and it's been like two days. So I think that's a big success, but it's raining, so I gotta go find him and bring him to shelter. Nobody found him. Still there. All right, time to come inside. PW. The good news is God is not done yet. He is here, and he's gonna speak to us tonight, and uh, it's gonna be a, an amazing night. So are you guys just really gonna give it your all tonight? I mean, really, really. We had a closing word, and then we had communion, and we prayed over the seniors because they won't be allowed back here next year. And, yeah, that was pretty much it. Of course, the kids, um, they didn't want it to end. They never want it to end, which is great. But, um, like all good things, they must come to an end, and a new thing starts. 
So tonight, um, there's a movie going on right now. They're playing The Greatest Showman. Um, I've already seen the movie, so um, I'm not going to sit out there in the bugs and get bit again. Um, and then the boys are doing Jailbreak, which I wish I could join in, but I can't because it's just the boys. They really should work on that next year and include everybody. Um, and then... The seniors are having a senior party right now, so I'm going to go and do that. So, um, we'll see how long I stay up tonight, I guess. <laughs> um, but I've been doing the canteen for the past, like, hour and a half, and it was actually really fun. And I'm going to eat the leftover pizza now, so bye! It's late. I'm tired. For another 30 minutes. Good morning! It's end day! Which means everybody goes home. What's up? We're folding. What's up? Cool. Hi. They're leaving, finally. Abby. So, all the kids had left, and then we packed up everything, and now I'm home. And, man, was it a crazy week. I definitely grew more in the Lord and grew more as a leader, and the girls just had a fantastic time, and they grew in the Lord more. And it was just an amazing week for everybody. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it's completely different than um, any of the other vlogs I've done or any other videos that I've done. But I hope that, you know, this was at least fun to watch because I definitely had fun vlogging all of it. So, yeah. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more geeky videos whenever I put them out, hit the subscribe button. But as always, stay geeky, my friends.